Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. I've had an interesting last couple of days dealing with my power company. Ultimately, it was a happy ending where I received a credit on my account. And I'll also give you some tips at the end on how to deal with a power company should a similar situation arise for you. Well, first of all, I've color coded two particular bills of interest, one in blue, one in green. The first blue bill is a bill from the 20th of November to the 17th of February earlier this year and also the second bill from the 18th of February to the 18th of May 2018 also earlier this year obviously a later bill than that one so the first bill on the 9th of March 2018 for $216.56 which I duly paid on time and received a discount on the 29th of March 2018 uh, I'll also say that um, just ignore the electric car charges because they uh, this is kind of a separate thing with my um, electric vehicle charging plan that I'm on let's just focus on the actual bill itself so importantly on the 29th of March my account was at zero because I paid everything in full now on the 30th of May this invoice here for this bill period 18th of February the 18th of May the amount charged for my electricity was $169.14 and again on the 19th of June I paid on time and received that discount and importantly on the 19th of June my account was at zero again now interestingly on the 17th of July which is two days ago uh, they reversed that invoice, that green invoice, which then I received a credit, obviously, because they reversed it. They also reversed this account here from up here. So 20th of November to 17th of February, reversed that account, at which stage my account was in credit, $385. Uh, they reversed my electric card charge, but then they put it back on, so that's just cancel those two out. But then they re-invoiced this bill here, the 20th of November 2017 to 17th of February 2018, which is the one up here from early this year at $270.85. Just take note that that's approximately $54 more expensive than what I had been billed earlier this year. Okay, we'll come back to that. Then they reinvoiced me for this green bill, 169.14, so that's the same. At this point here, which is when I got a second bill for this period, outstanding balance of $54.29, based on the fact that this bill was more than what I'd been charged earlier in the year. So obviously at this point, I gave the power company a phone call and basically asked for a please explain what's going on. Um, they tried to explain a few things, but I kept saying, well, it doesn't explain the fact why you're charging me more for this bill up here. Was I using more electricity? Um, they couldn't answer me. They didn't know. The person on the phone did his best. I stayed calm. I didn't get angry or anything, but he said he'd escalate the situation, investigate and find out what's going on. So that's fine. I left it at that. Went about my life for a couple of days. Um, then, and then I received a second bill today for a credit of $19.10, which obviously I was happy with. I asked for another statement of account, which is this one. And it was interesting to see the history of what happened in the last couple of days. So let's go from this point here, $54.29 outstanding. So the gentleman on the phone said, well, we'll freeze your account for the time being. Nothing's owing until we work this out. So they took off that bill 169.14 for the green bill and they took off that bill as well that 270.85 that sort of second higher billing so therefore my account was back in credit 385.70 uh, they credited my electric car charge but they put it back on so let's cancel these two out let's go back to this blue one here now this is interesting from the 18th of July this blue bill which is don't forget this one up here which was originally 216.56 and then recharged at 270.85 a couple of days ago for no reason. They then charged me $297.46. That is some $20 cheaper than what I was originally charged up here and uh, about $80 cheaper than what they were going to charge me two days ago. So there is a big discrepancy here. Um, therefore, they put that back on my account. Um, then they put the last account, uh, last bill back on the account as well. So 169, which is consistent with the last few bills or the last few times I've been charged for the same account. So therefore, my account was at $19.10 credit compared to $54.29 outstanding. So as you can see, I've turned an outstanding account into a credit account only because I rang them up and I basically disputed and asked what was going on. Okay, so this is the letter I received accompanying that new bill saying, Dear 
Um, dear Tom, we've credited your account following an overcharge on your bill. We're sorry we overcharged you on a recent electricity bill. This was due to an incorrect meter read being applied to the account. The credited amount is zero dollars. Your corrected bill is enclosed. So as you can see, they read my meter wrong. If I hadn't been so conscientious looking at my account, I just wonder, you know, I would have just blindly paid that overcharged account. Uh, I just wonder how many other Australians around this country are being duped like this or being overcharged on their account. And it, it, it frightens me that the power companies are getting away with it. So I guess the point of this video is um, is to, to warn you guys and just be wary of your power bills. And um, my tips for today are to, you know, I'll put it up on the slides here, but analyze all your power bills, you know, question anything that's unusual or doesn't add up. And when you call your call up your power company, um, these are my tips. Be patient on the phone. Um, stay calm. Be polite. Be objective. State all your facts. And most importantly, do not become emotional. Don't get angry with them. You know, these people might be from overseas call centers. They might have an accent or their English may not be as powerful as you or I. Uh, but they're trying their best. They're doing their job. So don't get angry at them. Try to, you know, if you can, maybe escalate a bit at the time. If you're getting nowhere, speak to the supervisor. Um... If it's being escalated or investigated, make sure you get a ticket or episode number from your phone call. Uh, if you want to take their name or employee number, but I think a ticket number is probably more important. And uh, most importantly, at the end of it all, follow up. So give them a call in a week's time and just see what's going on. Hopefully they're quicker than that. Hopefully they'll give you an answer. But if not, just follow up and um, you know, don't get disadvantaged by human error. And if it doesn't add up, it probably doesn't and get it checked out. Definitely. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been useful and um, hopefully it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use our promo code on screen to score free unlimited supercharging. Happy charging.